Hello, it is Thursday. No, it's not. Look at that, a Costco worker. <laughs> she looks so very happy too. How cute is that? I have ordered a Woolworths online grocery shop, which will be arriving tomorrow and I will add that to this video. I've gone slightly over the budget that I wanted to, but um, I tried my best. So this is what I got at Aldi and um, I'll explain why I got these things at Aldi instead of Woolworths online as I go through them. So because it's almost seven o'clock at night, I got some dinner, um, a quick and easy dinner. It's been really hot today, like 38 degrees Celsius. Um, the change has come through now, but it's still sort of muggy. Anyway, and it's late. I got these chicken breasts ready to eat shredded things and it's they're very quiet. I mean, I'm sure they're not incredibly healthy because they're processed, but they're yum and they're quick and they're easy. And then I'm going to put them with crunchy salad. And I got four packs of that because they're quite small packs um, for the family. I'm actually going to do my own dressing because a couple of the kids don't like the dressing that goes in that. But maybe I'll, you know, leave it up to people to have their own choice of dressing. And then, and, and the kids, me and Anthony will leave it at that but the kids are going to have um, some Turkish bread with this. So I got the majority of my fruit and veggies for the two weeks at Aldi because they're cheaper and they're better quality in my opinion. Um, and also because I could then choose it all in person. So I did order quite a bit of frozen fruit and veggie through Woolworths online though. So in conjunction with that, this is all the fresh stuff for the fortnight. So I've got carrots and I got four lots of strawberries. This is spring onion and I also got two iceberg lettuces. The other one I think is over there. They had figs, which are my favorite fruit ever. So I was very excited and I'll have to hide those. And then I got two red capsicums, two green capsicums, two ready to eat now avocados and then a bag of unripe avocados. And you know, I'll probably take ages to ripen because I always do. I got, now the kids start back at school tomorrow. So I also got some bits and pieces to get us through tomorrow before the shopping arrives. So this is just some, a quick breakfast for Daniel because I have not done a school run in almost six weeks. So this is just keeps things nice and easy. This is for tonight. I'm going to make the dressing with some sour cream and, cream and mayonnaise and stuff. <coughs> I got tomatoes, um, green grapes and red grapes. And they were a great price compared to everywhere else. Some mandarins, some bananas, some eggs because we had the last two eggs this afternoon. And I've ordered six dozen, but this is another dozen. To make sure we have some for the morning should we need them white nectarines white peaches more white peaches and some onions there's the other iceberg lettuce five boxes of crackers for the two weeks because they're a really good price there they're for the kids to have with cheese or whatever this is for jack to have for afternoon tea tomorrow and then these are for the other kids to have for afternoon tea because yes, it's summer, but they all enjoy chicken too. Yeah, totally out of milk. So this is to get us through tonight and the morning. Lunchbox treat for the kids for tomorrow and it's Layla's first day tomorrow. So I was gonna pack her lunchbox extra special. Um, and two tins of formula. I like to keep one upstairs, one downstairs. I've got a kettle upstairs and a kettle downstairs and it just keeps things nice and easy. And then I've got I got all my mints for the two weeks at LD2 because Woolworths keep putting their price up and I prefer the quality of the LD1 as well. I got just some kitty yogurts for whoever wants to take one to school or for people at home to have as a snack. And then as a treat for the kids tonight, they're gonna have a banana ice cream. 
I chose to get the olive oil at Aldi because this was only $5 for 750ml. It's good quality and there were none on sale at Woolworths. Jack needed some new sports socks for school, so I got him a couple of packs of those. Um, I have ordered some 85 cent chocolate in the Woolworths shop, which is lint, and then this was slightly cheaper, so I got some of these as well. And then Jack said we need a triple A battery, so he grabbed those ones, or oh, they're rechargeable ones. He probably got the really, really expensive ones. <laughs> and then um, some paracetamol. And also a couple of loaves of bread just to get us through. And a block of cheese. I already have some lunch meat in the fridge and a couple of tins of tuna. Um, probably for me and Anthony to have with salad for lunch. That's something easy for him to take to work. Um, then also I got um, like just a salad mix that's got baby spinach and kale and beetroot and stuff like that. And I got two lots of that, or three lots of that. And then, um, and obviously there's something that we have to eat in the next few days. And then in the second week, we really get into the frozen vegetables. <coughs> and then last but not least, a bag of baby spinach. All right, so until tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> What's your name? Lady. What's your name? Daddy. Is your name Isaac? It's <laughs> <laughs> my dog. What is it? No, you're a happy boy. You with Ava? You love your Ava, don't you? Yes. So it is the next day, and the Woolworths shopping has arrived. All of this stuff came to around five hundred and seventy dollars. That's for two weeks, and along with the stuff I got from um. Aldi last night which was around 260 something dollars. I was slightly over this fortnight but we are doing keto me and Anthony so um yeah things are a bit more expensive because we are buying more dairy more meat and more green like salady things they're always expensive so it's for a good cause we've gone a little bit over budget but 570 for all of this stuff i'll show you and i think you'll be impressed too it includes the toiletries bread me and anthony are not having any of this so there's eight loaves for the two weeks for nine children and you're gonna help me are you <laughs> okay so then one night we're going to have chicken legs and I am going to I am in the process and I did remember last night I am showing you what we're having each night for dinner and I'll try and keep that an ongoing thing if you enjoy that sort of thing um, and I've put this up here because it's a bit dangerous but this is like one of those meat forks and I've never had one and every time I'm carving meat I think I really want one of these and this was um, reduced to clear for about I don't know dollar fifty or something so I picked that up all right and then I'm going to do beef in the slow cooker. So I just got beef silver side because that's like the cheapest piece you can get. And then something else, and I can't remember, but you will find out, is um, some chicken breast for something. And then I need a pepperoni for something, but um, I was, so I was going to get a few packets of pepperoni and then a packet of this just for me and Anthony to use in some keto dishes. However, this ended up a lot cheaper to get diced Hungarian salami and the little kids will prefer the lack of spice anyway. Um, so I just got extra ones of those for a recipe. So then eggs. I got one dozen last night and then I've got another six dozen here. And then I also got a carton of egg whites. I have one or two of those in the fridge as well. And this is mainly kid fun stuff, um, weekend stuff, entertaining stuff. So um, cornflakes, we've still got, I think, over one thing of wheat bix in the cupboard. The kids don't have a massive amount of cereal because I don't get any fun cereals. Um, apart from the fact I did get this, it was um, half price this week, but I thought I had it in mind for the particularly the older ones to just have some on top of yogurt yes I'm going to show that so I got some paint brushes and rolly things and Josephine and Isaac are going to do some painting tomorrow aren't you darling yeah yeah 
<laughs> um, hello. Hello. I can't hold you this second. I can't hold you this I never get this stuff. It was half price. And I thought, why not? Um, I never get it. So that's a treat for the kiddos. And then the corn chips are to go with the recipe just for the children to add a carb component. It's probably like a Mexican type dish. I can't remember. Um, on the weekend, we've got people coming over. So they're great. Easy to put out. And then... Doritos, I've got a 14 year old boy, he always loves those. And then these are also just as a weekend treat. Um, <laughs> light and tangy, does anyone remember those? I didn't think they still made them, but um, I used to love them when I was a, a kid. Anyway, Parmesan cheese, I've still got one of those in the fridge, I think. I've still got a little bit of cheese in the fridge. A couple of packets of mozzarella and three packets of just um, cheddar. Then four tubs of cream. Anthony and I are having cream in our coffee. Um, and I'm still getting used to it. I just have a dash because it's quite, I don't know, it's uh, sort of oily, if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm going to think about trying black to get used to black coffee, but we'll see. In the meantime, I'm having cream. And then I got some gherkin relish because a couple of my kids love to have this on sandwiches. I don't always get it. It does have a bit of sugar, Mommy, but that's just I'm you. because I did get it. <clears throat> Mommy, I'm happy you. Okay. And then I got one yogurt last night, just sort of kitty yogurts, two more. I only got two last fortnight and like we only got through them yesterday. So they're not he eating heaps of yogurt. Um, and then six blocks of butter. I got, um, as you know, I got a, um, a block of cheese last night, but I also just got two packets of the <laughs> good old fashioned fake cheese and a craft singles, um, easy for sam school sandwiches. Now that they're back at school, I got a bunch of sour creams for recipes and probably one or two extra for me and Anthony to just put in whatever we want with these make it up as you go along keto dishes and then a couple of Greek yogurts. I've still got some Greek yogurt in the fridge as well. And then for the kids, because Anthony and I are not having any milk at all, I've got how many? Eight? Eight milks. Each of them are three litres. And now onto the other bench, which is a little bit cluttered because I've got some things in the middle. Almond milk. And then I've got, I've got plenty of pasta for the kids, but I just didn't know if I had some sort of like, you know, these sort of shapes because I'm doing a tuna sort of casserole for them. So I grabbed that. And then some um, formula sachets because I like to take those when we're out and about. It's just easier. These I think are new and they were such a good price. They're legit custard. There is sugar in them. Um, these are, there's not added sugar in the fruit ones though, that I can see. Um, so, so the fruit ones are perfect for the baby because there's no added sugar. These ones are like little desserts, but it was five for three dollars. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. You can't get like baby food deals like that. So I grabbed 25 of them for 15 bucks and I think that's a fantastic deal. And um, Josephine and Isaac have already had an apple puree um, to try and get them to just be occupied while I do this. It didn't work very long. <laughs> And then I just grabbed one other baby food just to put away for a rainy day or have in the nappy bag for when I really need it for Daniel because when we're out and about, he can't just have anything that we find, you know? So I need to have something like that in the nappy bag. And along those sort of lines, these are wonderful. He really likes them. He's only got two tiny little bottom teeth. And um, <coughs> I was actually playing with these little people. Um, and so he can't have anything that like crackers or anything like that because he can easily choke. So these are fantastic because they just melt in his mouth and he loves them and they keep him occupied and the other kids actually really like them too so they steal them from him. <laughs> but they're good to have in the nappy bag. Lunch meat, now we're back at school, it's even more important than ever. And it was like half price, so that was fantastic. So I got three English hams and three chicken breast. Okay, I got three um, little tunas for um for like lunches and things like that also tuna for a tuna casserole this week um, um and then i got some cumin and some 
Chipotle and then a couple of smooth peanut butters for the kids and a crunchy for um, myself and Anthony and I've got myself some more paper mate pens I keep getting these and the kids steal them and that's a notebook for me if you know books for me because I love that sort of thing nothing makes me more happy than pens and notebooks and um, we've got coffee I've got some more so we don't run out some chocolate for us this is great when we're doing keto we can have this we can also have uh, mineral water and then we add some lemon juice and I pretty much got the lime juice for a recipe but that's nice in it as well so that's fantastic to have on hand then uh, vinegar I mainly use that for cleaning I needed a couple of things to start a sauce I've got only like one left so I grabbed those and um, apple cider vinegar, we still have at least half of one, but I didn't want to run out. I like to have some of this in water before meals. It's very, very good for you. Organic blueberries and some strawberries make nice um, smoothies that I'm allowed to have. Some beans, heaps of broccoli. I love this stuff, guys. I'm having it like constantly, just chucking it in the microwave, having it with everything. Some cheese melted, gorgeous. Cauliflower, that's for a recipe. I'm gonna try, I've never tried um, Brussels sprouts that are pre like frozen, snap frozen. So I'm gonna give those a go. Also got some kale, some spinach, a couple of bags of that, and some more onions. I used those for the first time last week and it worked so well. So I've got another packet of those. Don't have to chop onions. I still get onions though. Chocolate ice cream for one Friday night and hokey pokey ice cream for the following Friday night for the kids, not for me. Toiletries. Okay, so I've got a little bin for one of the bathrooms. I was right out of laundry detergent, so I can go do some more washing now. <laughs> Nappies, um, wipes, toilet paper, all the normal stuff. Um, and then um, I am trying this for the first time, which is just like a toilet cleaner. It's, Looks um, looks pretty dangerous, so that's good. <laughs> More bleach, we go through that so much. A pump soap for the kids' shower. Band-Aids, we go through these things like crazy. I'm constantly buying Band-Aids. More Q-tips, more carpet cleaner, because we go through that like crazy. Ant Rid works so well. It's summer, we're getting ants at the moment, so that gets rid of them. We need another one of these. They break quite easily. And then these were 40% off, which was great because they're my favorite products and they're really, I'm running really low on both of them. So um, I used this leave-in conditioner and this sea salt texturizing spray. Um, and I feel like my hair goes from bed head to like feeling like I've just come out of the hairdresser in like two minutes flat. So they work really well for me, 40% off, grab them while I can. So my battery was running low, guys. I need to be more on the ball with making sure my batteries are charged. I don't have spare batteries, like, you know, money, money, money. <laughs> um, so subscribe so that I can afford a new battery for my camera. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and all of this, as I said, I think I gave you the price already. I can't remember it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's a family of 11 people, two adults, couple of teenagers, bunch of hungry kids, and a toddler and a baby, and a few in between. <laughs> All right, guys, I have managed to stuff everything in the two fridges and freezers. I haven't put the bread away in the deep freezer yet, but um, I never really show you my fridge inside my fridges and I thought some people might be interested to see how our family of 11 fit in two weeks worth of food into two fridges. I have two big fridges. Though. So as you can see, there's lots of school snacks and things that like, um, you know, the lunch meat and stuff and cheese. And then I keep all of the fruit and everything is in here. We have like random fruits and stuff, plums and things in there. So yeah, I do have things left over. Like I didn't buy apples this fortnight, but um, I still had a bunch of apples left over. I've still got some up on the bench as well. Um, and um, full veggie compartment. But as I said, I've got so much as you saw, frozen veggies as well. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying those because I don't have to worry about them going bad. And then last night when we had the crunchy salad, um, we didn't use these. These like, have carbs and stuff, so they're there. The kids can make themselves salads and put those in it. That'll be nice.
And in here, look, like yogurt, egg, everything is, I know where it all is though. I put all those special treaty things in there next to all our nice cheeses. And then, um, yeah, that's like cheese and sour cream and cottage cheese and cream cheese and all of that. And even behind here, I've got cream and I've got parmesan cheese, all the salad things, half of the eggs, the other half of the eggs, a bunch of milks, more milks. This is where I keep things that are already open, like cheese that's already open. There's some flaxseed meal there and, you know, cream cheese that's already open and stuff. And then down here I've got meat and some more random fruit and stuff like that there. This is some yummy stuff that I got at a market. And then I put the ice cream in the other freezer and then in here it is jam-packed with frozen veggies and more frozen veggies and there's some chicken under there as well so mommy what is that that's pastry darling so that's a quick look inside my fridges and freezer one of the three freezers anyway so it's thursday and i have been back to the shops to get a few bits and pieces we, we've been really surprised like we're just running out of food like never before I think it might have something to do with the fact me and Anthony are doing, you know, eating keto and um, the kids have just started back at school so maybe I'm just not used to buying the right sort of things. Um, but anyway, there are a couple of things we thought, no, we can't go a whole week without these things so I've gone to pick them up and while I did I took advantage of NQR. I hadn't been there in about six months. First of all, we just ran into Woolworths because Isaac really needed some new nappies. The ones that I ordered, there weren't many in the packet and so he just went through them. He was like on his last one today. So I got him um, these Huggies nappy pants and then I got Daniel. Daniel has some nappies but I thought I don't know if they'll quite last a week so I grabbed these and I get three times the points for Huggies products um, on my Woolworths rewards card this week so I thought I'll take advantage of that anyway. And then we're going to an engagement party on the weekend, um, hence I'm going to go get a present for that this afternoon and I got an engagement card. Um, and I got some dummies for Daniel because he just loses them. He's going all over the house now so he loses them under furniture and that sort of thing. And then we are down to dregs of coffee, so we can't run out of that stuff, guys. Otherwise, you know, if the coffee stops flowing, we stop working. <laughs> and then um, we also ran out of soda water. I think I've got four of them to put, like, lemon or lime juice in. But because of the hot weather, we've just gone through them. I think a couple of the kids have been enjoying it as well. So anyway, I've just got three more of those. We'll try and be slower in drinking it. They're only about 75 cents each though and then we, I bought cream and then I went to NQR and I had promised the kids a treat I got them tiny teddies um <clears throat> little packets of like bickies I got these these were only a dollar a pack so um there's six in each and I have six kids at school now so I thought that's good for three days or for two days and then um for the kids at home as well I suppose so two days of um like morning tea and then I got some cruskets because they're really good for Daniel to have. I don't think he's had a crusket yet. I always get the kids cruskets when they're about that age. And then these were only a dollar each. Um, Ruskets apple, spinach and kale flavour. Sounds a bit revolting. I thought I'd try them on it. It says 12 plus months. But I mean, cruskets are for, you know, adults and he's fine with them. So it doesn't mean much. I'll see how he goes with it. And ditto for these oat bickies. There's 10 honey and 10 banana. And if he is too young for these, I will give them to like the other kids. That will be fine. The other little ones. And then these were only a dollar each as well. I don't like to get baby rice, but this is um, multigrain cereal. So I got two of those because um, they're good to just mix in some fruit or whatever for a quick breakfast. And then it, this was three for five dollars, I think. So these are muesli and quinoa bars. Um, oh, they've got almond in it. I didn't realise. I thought they'd be good school ones, but the kids can then have them on the weekend, I suppose, or for afternoon tea. Then these, it was 12 for $3 and 12 for $3, and I just got two packs. I think I spent 70 70 something dollars at Woolworths, but most of that was in nappies. And I spent 30 something at NQR. And so the last thing, this was a really good deal. There's crumbs on my bench from the kids getting breakfast still, sorry. 
Um, these, a pack of 12 pear purees, and they don't have any added sugar or anything, it looks lovely, for $3. So that was really a really good price, I thought, and I got 3 times 12 and I would have got more. If they have more when I go back, I'll say I'll go back next week. And if they've got more, I'll pick up like a, a bunch of them to put away. Hello, it is Sunday the 10th of February. And I have been out to do more shopping, would you believe? Just enough to tie us over for the next three days before I do the next two weeks shop. And I say just, but you know, I got quite a bit of stuff. So I went to NQR again and I spent 50, around $53 there and then I went to Aldi and spent 96 I believe so yeah I spent a bit of money but some of the things will carry over a little bit but regardless I've definitely gone over budget this fortnight doing keto kids back at school all of that sort of thing just getting used to the swing of things so I'll show you what I got and first I'll start with my NQR buys because I've got to get some ice cream in the freezer so um, at NQR I got some banana split ice cream because that sounded delicious so we're gonna put that in the freezer and that ice cream will be a bonus dessert so tiny teddies I've got a pack of these 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 are good for during the week for you too aren't they then I got three packets of these cheesy cracker tiny teddies which I thought would be less sugary so that was three boxes for five dollars that was a very good deal and then I've still got three packets of these in the pantry from the other day. And I just got another three packets because they were only $1.50 a packet and they're very nice. Muesli and quinoa bites. Then I got um, two packets of these Taste of Summer tomato salsa chips because they were a dollar a pack. So Jack was shopping with me and he liked the idea of those. I got some more Crosscuts for the baby because the kids got into his packet <laughs> and they're almost gone. Um, I like the cheese at NQR. They always sell this lovely pre-sliced cheese and it's um, very tasty. Um, so I got that. Um, Jack and Ava needs more toothpaste, so instead of doing it in the shop, I just got it now. And ditto for shampoo and conditioner, herbal essence, a double pack for five bucks. I thought that was quite good. So that's for the kids' bathroom. So that's another thing I won't have to get when I do the two-week shop. Um, on Wednesday and then um, some seeded mustard and some Dijon mustard they were only $1.20 each which is fantastic I also got four lots of these paper cups for birthdays we have a lot of May birthdays and then also I thought they're just a good thing to have in the cupboard in case you know if we're going for picnics or to the zoo or whatever and we want to take some bottles of drink of like soda water or something to share um, we can just take those pop them in the picnic basket and that's nice and easy and economical a dollar and that'll last a few trips and then these are for anthony to take to work i actually meant to pick up the packets of green olives but i picked up um kalmata olives kalamata olives instead but i'm sure he'll still enjoy those um so they're sealed packets just for a snack a nice keto snack at work and that's a packet uh a box i've got a box of eight for i think three dollars i think three dollars and then as i said jack was with me but these huge muffins were in the freezer section and um they're sara lee and for eight muffins it was six dollars and they're huge i mean you would pay more than double that if you got them um, in a bakery or whatever and the white chocolate melt and raspberry muffins so yum yum I'll pop those in the freezer and they can have them for an afternoon one tea one day and then when I went to NQR the other day I got these as you know the um, pear puree um, and so there were I went to a different NQR today but they had boxes of the stuff so I ended up getting nine times twelve so all up I spent twenty seven dollars but I mean, each one is 12, um, as I showed you before, 12 uh, little yeah. tubs for $3 and you can't get fresh fruit for that price. Oh, got to get it while you can. And then at Woolworths, I got these bits and pieces to also help us get through the next three days. I don't think the kids really needed any extra milk. I just got one a lot just in case i also picked up two more packages of broccoli because i am eating broccoli like it's going out of season so that is like a, like a staple for me now 
on my keto diet. And then um, I got two, I'm living vicariously through my children, obviously, but I got these as a Sunday afternoon tea, pizza, woo. So, I mean, eight kids are going to be eating it, so it's not going to be a whole heap, but um, just, a, yeah, an afternoon tea portion. And then we needed dishwasher powder. We had actually run out entirely. We've been using bicarb soda. Um, so that was working fine, but the, the dishes end up with like a streaky sheen on them. So good to have that. Um, and I'll have to get more in the other shop and scourers. Anthony's like, we need scourers, get scourers. So there we go. Anthony also requested some nuts. We've been going through nuts quite quickly. So I just got the mixed bag for now because I'll get more nuts when I do the proper shop in a few days. So this will tie us over. We had run out of cream again. Amazing to think that one is losing weight while drink, you know, having lots of cream. But anyway, I got some turkey for myself because I love it. There's already, we've still got some lunch meats left for the kids for school, but I really enjoyed turkey. So I thought that'd be good for salads for me for the next few days. And then three lovely sized avocados. We'll probably have one in a salad today. And then um, I'll use those just to eat in the next couple of days. And some fresh strawberries. They smell delicious. They look delicious. So just a small amount of those. They were like three dollars a pun. It so I didn't go crazy. Um, these are for the little ones. Just um, again through the week to have a quick snack when we're out and about or whatever. They're good to have in the nappy bag. And then Anthony and I enjoy usually just once a day a soda water. Soda water. I don't know if you call it that everywhere, but it's just sparkling water. And then eggs. We've been going through eggs like they're going out of fashion. So I got two more dozen eggs just for the next couple of days. <laughs> and then um, salad mix. I've, we've got someone coming over tonight. We're having some char like charcoal chick rotisserie chicken. And then I'm just going to make simple salads. So I'm using one pack of this for that. And then the other packet is just for me and Anthony to eat in the next couple of days. I also got some, a bunch of spring onion, um, six trussed tomatoes, they look lovely. Then I also got some red seedless grapes for the children. They've still got some fruits, but um, they just look really good. I got some yogurts, shredded uh, cheddar cheese. We do have some shredded mozzarella left, but I prefer just sort of like the tasty cheese just generally in a salad or whatever. And then two loaves of bread. We've probably still got bread for the kids in the deep freezer, but I didn't check. I just grabbed a couple more loaves because we can always just freeze it anyway. So we're gonna use it anyway, regardless.